Hello friends, this is Ankush Bhatt with Katia tutorial number 10. In this tutorial, we will learn about the chamfer tool. As in our previous tutorial, we have learned about the corner tool. On the left hand side, we have Katia V5 window and on the right hand side, we have step by step instructions for the whole tutorial which you can write down. Let's start by creating a new file. Go to start, mechanical design, path design. Give a file name to your file as I am giving it Jimmy. So a new file with file name Jimmy has been formed. Choose any plane from the part tree as I am going with XY plane or you can choose any plane from by clicking it over these planes as YZ plane and click the sketcher tool. Now we have entered into the sketcher workbench. These are the sketcher tools on the right interface, bottom interface and at the top interface. This is the chamfer tool. Let's sketch some drawing to just learn about the chamfer tool in detail. Let's sketch one more drawing. And you can just go to the chamfer tool by just clicking from the top interface to insert and then to operation after that chamfer. So now we can see we have six type of chamfer tools and the most commonly used is the first type of chamfer tool. Let's start by working on it. Pick up the tool, select the two sides forming the edge. First side select second side then provide the angle and length of the chamfer or you can say length of the hypotenuse here in the first block and the second block or we can just use the second option we can just provide the first length or the second length first length of this first side and second length is the length of the second side or we can use third option by just providing the angle and the length of the first side as I'm using the first option angle and the length of the chamfer so by using angle of 45 degree and length of 40 mm enter I had chamfered the side by trimming the sides forming the edge as we can see it has before we had the sides forming the edge now it has chamfered and trimmed the sides forming the edge moving on towards the second chamfer tool pick up the tool select two sides as I selected this side as my first side and this side as my second side give the angle and length now it has formed the chamfer but by just trimming the first selected side as but in case we had it had trimmed the both selected sides moving on to the third chamfer tool pick up the tool select two sides and provide angle and length as I am giving it randomly now we can see it has just formed a chamfer but by just keeping the sketch as it is. Moving on towards 4 chamfer tool, select the tool, select two sides forming edge and give the angle and length. Now we can see it has just formed a chamfer but just trimmed the extended sides as previously it had extended sides now after chamfer it has trimmed the extended sides but in case of the previous ex previous chamfer tool it just don't trim the extended side but keep the sketch as it is moving on towards the fixed fifth chamfer tool pick up the tool select two sides given an angle and length now we can see it has chamfered the sides but by trimming the extended sides and converting the sides forming the edge into the construction line now moving on towards last last chamfer tool for this let's make a sketch so moving on towards the last chamfer tool pick up the tool select two sides give angle and length now we can see that a chamfer has been formed but by just converting the sides and extended sides into the construction line 
as comparison to the last chamfer tool it hasn't trimmed the extended sides i hope you like this video and thanks for watching this video